The small country of Ireland is known for many things, from its rolling hills to coastal views and Guinness, of course. But it's art at the center of its vibe. Just listen to this group playing in a local pub. During the pandemic, like many industries, the arts took a major hit. So in a groundbreaking initiative, the country is taking matters into its own hands. They're trying to revive their creative industry. In a new pilot program, the Emerald Island is paying artists to create, no strings attached. It's been hugely transformative to my practice. It's meant that I was able to quit the part-time job that I had working as a receptionist and now just devote my time to my art practice and be in the studio. Eleanor O'Donovan will tell you she had an incredible stroke of luck. She's one of 2,000 artists from various disciplines like visual arts, music, dance and theater who were randomly chosen to participate in a three-year trial. I can't imagine not doing it, but it's also like a job. It is a job for me to be able to work and I do consider it work, uh, what I do. And, you know, I take the time to go to work and come to the studio and make art. She can't solely survive on the 17,000 euros given, but it pays her for the time she dedicates to creating. In other words, it's giving her some stability. It's money needs the support, but also it would be... Declan Jordan is a professor of economics at Cork University's business school. How do you then address people who might take advantage of the system? There are always people who milk any system that you set up. The evidence from other pilot schemes shows that that's not what happens. When you give people money, they actually do good stuff with it. They want to spend it. They want to invest in themselves. Jordan says that investing in themselves is an investment in Ireland. We tend to use our art. We tend to use our artists, our music, our storytellers, our filmmakers um, as part of the story you know, to attract uh, in people um, to invest in a country. Since the program launched in September, the extra time to create has allowed Eleanor to find a new medium. I'm working on a film now at the moment as well. I'm doing a, an exhibition in Dundee in Scotland next month and the film is kind of the centrepiece of the exhibition. Um, it's a short film, I've never made a film before, um, but it's been really exciting. A small country with a big investment while hoping to paint a new vision for the world. Megan Fitzgerald, NBC News, Cork, Ireland. And Ireland is not the only place trying out this kind of thing. Programs in New York, San Francisco and St. Paul, Minnesota are also giving artists a stipend every month. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.